Open with questions. Um, just an incredible win for our program. Our guys just really got it out. I, I felt like uh, you know they're really hard to defend, and they opened up a little bit in that second half with some transition, and um, we kind of we hung around just enough. What you want to do on the road and down three, they really defended us well. Um, we were able to come up with that offensive rebound. Uh, Andre had great awareness. Of, actually, I think the officials passed and a reach on the floor. Thank you. And he found Jalen, and Jalen got you know clipped and makes a shot. And kind of what you have to do to win down here. We were very fortunate. So very. Good. We only turned over nine times. <laughs> he just told us that he didn't see the rim as he was going up for that three. What uh, What do you make of that? Probably. He's, you know what I mean. Probably. He, he's that kind of. He's in the gym so much. He probably knows where uh, he is on the floor. Like probably has in his in the muscle memory there. And, um, you know he. he he hit a couple of the other. The two he hit to put us up two, I think, was insane. Four on the shot clock. He hits a leaner. Obviously, he's not afraid. And uh, just, I felt really good with going up. Unbelievable. So it was nice to see it catch and then, about him. Well, sorry. And then uh, Ruben played some of his most minutes all season. Oh, he, What'd you make of his play? It was yeah. awesome. Yeah. And uh, you know, he's young, and and Oscar was so good in the last game. And it was, it's hard to explain to a young guy like, don't don't get discouraged. Um, and I pointed out to him. Last time we played Arizona, he had our best plus minus on the team. And he we're going against Ballos and those guys, Ruben's really effective and his attitude and his work ethic and get double double. He's he's a believer, man, so really proud of him. Uh, been a team guy and it's just exciting to see him to help win such a big game. Jalen was talking a lot about uh, embracing the underdog mentality and there's a lot of underdog stories on the team. Yeah. How does that manifest itself? Out on the court, you know, I, I, I kind of talk about they're not underdogs, but they, they it is obvious. I mean, Jalen was definitely a guy that was severely underlooked out of high school. Probably COVID is any much as anything one of those guys, and he kept growing and he got a lot of repetitions at a lower level. Um, and uh, he's just, and uh, for, I always have to say Alex Rosenberg is my favorite guy to coach, but he's rapidly <laughs> approaching just because his way he goes about. His business, I, I think I compare him like how, how Matthew Delavidova was at St. Mary's. It's just his preparation, his so it's neat to see guys like that get rewarded. You guys are three and one versus Arizona over the last four games. What's made you so successful against the Wildcats during the stretch? We well, haven't turned it over the last two. Um, and uh, that's that's probably the biggest thing because they, they pressed us, they went zone press, they went some man press. And uh, they're, you know, they'll, they'll come swipe down on the ball and to only have nine turnovers the last two games probably gives us a chance, you know, because those, when they turn you over, it's dunk and it's hard to catch them. And we get, Love gave us a break in the first half. He kicked one into the stanchion, but that was going to be a layup. Um, so we were able to, that helps. We were just able to keep them out of the transition and boy, they're hard to guard. How was he also able to remain so poised? Uh, in an environment like this, and Arizona kept making runs, and you guys kept kind of counter. They've kind of been that way. We got a couple guys like Isaac's really uh, doesn't waver too much. He doesn't get too high, too low. He's a good competitor. Oscar's that way, um, and then Jalen and Andre are kind of really savvy veteran to play hard. Like Andre was great. He was one for eight. So <laughs> that, that was basically no, my question. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't know to be honest, but <laughs> they've done since we beat USC. We've been. We just got a way about us to just kind of um, hang in there, keep chipping away. And here's is, is, is this game kind of like a coach's dream almost? Like I, I know, I know, winning here would be fun no matter what. But just the way you guys did it, you know, like yeah, the, the yeah back you know, it's, late I'm, I'm, February. I'm, yeah, I'm just I'm kind of numb right now. Not numb, but it's just like I've been so uh, focused on because I told the guys before the season. I said, I said this is a tournament team. If we don't get there, it's on me. And I tried to take the pressure off because I, I thought our talent was good enough. And you still don't know going through it. We had to get the Boise win. That, I think that gave us a big win. Then we you know, go to mountain schools and go 0-2 to start a league. But I still saw some good. And then we, I think when we beat SC, like, they start believing. And, uh, you know, Miles didn't play great tonight. But we were, that, that was great to see Kamani step in there. And they just um, – We've been we've been hammering a lot, just being a good team, and, and I said, uh, joy is the engine of change, and uh, these guys enjoy each other. Have, have you preached the kind of us against the world no. idea at all? I, I, I try to go. It's a pretty obvious story. <laughs> I try to go against the trope uh, that it's uh, it's kind of what it's kind of what Pullman's about anyway. And you can hear it in our ballad of the Palouse uh, when we sing it, but it's it's already kind of built in the DNA, and I'm like. 
I don't want to, you know, we're trying to, you know, I, I just think as an evolution as a coach, you can't, same thing, it can't be too high, too low, and if you're going to win, you know, it, it takes, a, a, if you're exhausted emotionally, it's just hard to stay consistent. These guys have been pretty darn solid, and they keep getting better. I know the game is done, but this is already Thank one you. of the bigger wins in program history. Yeah. How much have you thought about that, again, what place this has just in the program? I'm, I'm already on to the Sun Devils, man. <laughs> no, but, I mean, obviously going into it, having a chance, first of all, win or lose, to get yourself in the game, probably the premier game of the night in college basketball, like to most, I don't know if we've got eyeballs on the East Coast at midnight, but but you're two ranked teams playing to play this late in the season. It reminded me of the Ivy League when I it was always trying to get to last weekend and being, <laughs> there was no conference trying to be a thing. It's like, man, we're, we're in this position where we're playing for first place on, you know, late in the season. That's just a tremendous feat in itself uh, for the program and now have a chance to, to keep it moving. The, go, not, not the very last possession, but Arizona's the next to last possession. Were you figuring that Love was going to get the ball and drive? Yeah, we just figured it was going to be him. And we figured they did. We went middle pick and roll. We said we got to switch it and, and uh, hope. And we did. We got lucky. And I don't try to think. We thought they were going to throw a lot when they got the end line out of bounds. And they, we did a good job. They actually ran their little man play. And Jalen did a great job to jump out on Love. He's a low guy on that. That, that that helped a lot. How do games like this prepare you for not only in, uh, the Pac-12 tournament, but NCAA tournament when you're playing in these tight games down the stretch of the season? You know, they're, they're not even anything like a tournament, to be honest, because it's uh, you're going against 15,000 screaming fans. Mm -hmm. And I actually accept the Pac-12 tournament. There's a lot of Arizona fans there. So if you run into these guys again, it's very similar to this. But it uh, just gives you confidence. But the... The tournament games are funky because they're uh, they're neutral usually, and it's, it's you got a lot of your momentum. You know, you'll have your fans there, and it'll be. Uh, but uh, obviously, just gives you a tremendous amount of confidence that you can accomplish a lot. To close this game with you know limited miles minutes, Isaac has four fouls. Um, one like, what was your thinking in that stretch? But to actually get it done with those two not really in their usual. You know, you know it's hard because Miles has been so good for us, and uh, Kamani really helped us in a big way and it's like and Miles man he's he's been through a lot obviously and he uh he just didn't didn't play his best game and I, and I was you know he's only still his first year and we're going against they're going Bradley and Boswell and they started Larson on him to start the game so that's kind of my concern so they're just going to keep throwing ways of guys at him and uh and it was nice to see you know they weren't expected by Kamani played I think played 17 or 20 minutes and did a good job